Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be working in my journals today. So I've got a couple journals that I've been working on to try to get up into um, the shop. They are romantic, kind of shabby, um, just, I don't know, they're just journals. Um, I don't know that I would put a label on them. I'm just calling them pretty journals. <laughs> So anyway, um, I grabbed a few pieces of paper that I think would go well with this particular collection that I've got going on here. And um, I have one out. And we're just going to play with one for now. Um, these are the other ones. I do have the covers done, but the insides of the journals are kind of naked. And although I do like doing the naked journals, um, I also like decorating them too. It's kind of, um, I, I guess it's kind of part of the fun for me. Um, I'm going to do some inking. I have a couple pieces here that I had pulled aside. I wanted to put in here and, um, this is potting soil, um, by archival ink. Oh, it's upside down, but you know what it is. Or, I hope. Um, these are just some die cuts that I found. Um, and they happen to match really well with the paper. So, <clears throat> I'm adding a couple of them into my journals. So anyway, how have you guys been? How was your weekend? My weekend um, wasn't really too, too eventful. Um, we went shopping Saturday. Um, I did get some more storage stuff because Joann's has a sale right now, um, up to 70% off of storage units. <clears throat> so I was there and I took my youngest daughter with me and... Um, We got some stuff because I I need to get more storage for my beads because um, I I'm pretty sure I hit the mother load here. I don't even know how it happened because I don't buy beads on Etsy like I never have, but something happened and um, you know how like sometimes they suggest buyers or excuse me they suggest sellers to you and suggest different products for you and whatnot. Anyway. Something happened and um, they had suggested a particular seller and I was just like, all right, cool. And um, that seller was doing a de-stash of her beads and I was like, what? So I had placed an order and then I messaged her and I was like, you know, I normally wouldn't ask this because I'm a seller too, but you are de-stashing. So I figured it was worth a shot. I was like, would you mind if I asked you where you got all your beads? And she told me, you know, Joanne's Hobby Lobby, Michael's places like that. Um, like when they're on clearance and whatnot. And, um, so anyway, we got to talking and, um, we've spent all weekend communicating back and forth. And so I've got the order that I placed as well as, um, okay. So I've got the order that I've placed as well as, uh, another like custom order or whatever, because we've been going back and forth all weekend. Um, with her sending me pictures, uh, me telling her which ones of the pictures that I wanted and this, that, and another. So anyway, point being is I knew I needed to get more bead storage. So I ended up getting, um, you know, those stackable containers that I have my bling in. I got some of those and I also got, um, like the stackable, like the twisties. They're kind of like this, but they stack together and they just like keep stacking. Anyway, I got three different sizes and it always never fails. Like when I get new storage and I'm not sure 
what size to get. I get a little bit of each one. And so I've got to go back and see if I can find the middle one because the middle one is actually pretty perfect. Um, and I'm going to put this on the back of this, I think. I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to use a napkin here, I think. Um, I've got a couple napkins to choose from. This one's pretty. I kind of want something that I can like put the whole thing on there. I like that. All right, so let's do that. Anyway, um, so I wanted to go back, but at the same time, I was like, I really don't want to go back. Uh, I don't really like going out. Not anymore. It's just, it's scary out there. It's a big, bad world out there, man. So anyway, did you guys um, hit up any of the stores, online websites, or anything like that for the after um, the after holiday clearances? Because I know there was a lot of them out there. Okay, my scissors are so bad; they're having a hard time cutting napkin. Like, come on! I do have more coming. I ordered some from Amazon. Um, there was actually a sale at Joann's too with scissors. But um, I just got the cheaper ones, and that was at um, Amazon. So, all right. So I'm going to put this here because I don't want this on this other side. And then... Put this one here. Um, so this way. Let's grab a different one. Oh, my parchment paper's not in here. Um, you know what? I almost grabbed a tissue until I was like, wait a minute, I have tissue. Right here. Alright. So this is wax. This was from my new toy. <laughs> um my husband got me a, a wax seal kit, and I've been playing with that for the last few days. <laughs> um, I didn't bring you guys along because I wasn't sure how much you would like just sit, like watching me play with this wax or whatever. So I didn't exactly bring you with me. Uh, let's see. All right. We're going to grab my brush here, and what glue do I want to use? I think we'll go with the Mod Podge. So, I did this because I saw another YouTuber do this with the parchment paper, but um, I think I have a friend of mine who told me a little trick and I'm going to try that out eventually. I have to clean it first, <laughs> I think. So we're not going to do that today. All right. So I'm just going to take my Mod Podge here. We're going to put it all over the place. I am our room. Yeah. 
Anybody ever realize that they need more space? And then when you get more space, you fill it up, and then you need more space again. Anybody else ever do that? I do. All the time. Okay. You were curling up. You were not supposed to. So what shows is everyone are, are everyone? What shows are everyone watching? Is everyone? I think it's is. Is everyone. What shows? It sounds weird because it shows, which is plural, but everyone is, I think, considered singular. So it's weird. But anyway... Enough with the grammar lesson. What shows are you guys watching? I'm actually re-watching a show called Grey's Anatomy. I really like that show. It's one of the few shows in my life where they have made me cry. The actors in that show are so incredibly talented. I'm only on... Um, season three right now. I'm re-watching it, um, but I'm only on season three right now. And I think I need to put water in here. Miss Gail has hers super thinned out. And I'm wondering if that makes a really big difference. Do any of you guys water down your Mod Podge if you're using it for napkins? For napkining? Because I have a larger container of Mod Podge that I can use for other stuff, not napkining. And I normally use this one specifically for napkining. I'm just wondering if it wouldn't be easier to mess with if it weren't watered down a little. You know? My lights just flickered. I wonder what that means. All right, so we're going to put this back here. Yeah, I've got a... I don't know what's going on with me today. My grip is like bleh. My speech is bleh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just tired or what. I don't know. It's crazy. But... All right. So we're going to let that be for now. We're just going to turn the page. And it's parchment paper, so if it gets stuck, it'll just come out. I don't know. Let me see. Do I have a water thingy over here? No. My water thingy. That's not water. Oh, no. I don't have a water thingy. All right. Uh, my printer just made a noise. Alright, so. This is not a good idea unless you know you're going to go immediately and wash out your thing. But I've got about seven minutes left, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I was also going to talk to you guys about um, potentially like doing longer videos. Because I kind of miss doing the longer videos because I can do a lot more with you guys with the longer videos. Like something like this. I really don't get that much done in a 20 minute video. But if we're doing like an hour long video and just doing like craft with me videos, then I can do so much more with you guys. Now I know that the analytics on YouTube put it at, you know, they, the average viewer likes the shorter videos, but I would rather go with what you guys want versus the average viewer because you guys aren't average. You guys are special. So 
Um, I want to know what you guys think. All right, so I want to put a pocket in here. Let's go with I'm going to click off of there real quick. Um, I still have this one Christmas folder out because I still have my glue book and my December daily out. So I still have this one folder left. It's crazy. Let's do five and a quarter. How about that? That'll work. And then we'll do a couple more. Actually, let's see, what are you? Four and a half. Let's do two and a quarter. All right, so we've got two little pockets there. And then let's do this one here. Um, let's see. Oh, this one will be pretty. Let's do this one. We could do a big pocket with that one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That so I've got this guy here. Bloop. That one stuff. Um, not sure what I want to do with that one just yet. Hold that. So anyway, what do you guys think about doing the crap with me videos again? Um, cause like I said, I miss doing the crap with me videos. I miss, um, being able to come on and just spend an hour with you guys and just craft. Um, but I know a lot of you in the past have said you like the shorter videos and a lot of you have said that you like the longer videos. I feel like I'm constantly asking you guys, what length do you want your videos to be? And it might be because I'm constantly asking you guys, what length do you want your videos to be? So I think I'm just going to stick with some, like I'm going to pick a number and just stick with it. Um, I have glue on me. I always have glue on me. So, um, I really like this. Right, so I think we're going to put that one there. I think I need a longer pen with this one. This pen is kind of short. I think I'm going to have to replace the pen to make it a little bit longer. Whee! And then we'll come back and we will decorate these guys up a little bit. Right now we're just going to add a couple pockets. Um, oh, 
I could do like a layered pocket here. That would be cute. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm actually lining this up exactly with the other pocket because I'm going to layer it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be worried about it matching. Matchy, matchy. So we're going to put this one first and then put this one down after. Yeah. Okay. Need to refill my bottle. I found this thing too. It's a glue eraser. I actually haven't used it. Huh, that's pretty cool. I mean, Fabri-Tac is pretty easy to get off if you put too much on there, but that's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, because you can just rub it off um, with your fingers. Fabri-Tac, I mean. I'll have to try it with the tacky glue or the art glitter glue. There we go. All right, and then we can add different thing. Okay, well, maybe not that one. Oh, that'll be pretty over there, though. Well, we can firstly cut these out a little bit more. That one's too big. That one's kind of cute. Also too big. I like that one. And green. I don't know, there's some different elements in here that we can use. Um, we don't, like I said, we'd have to like, cut them out. I like that one. Let's use that one over there. Um, I don't know, maybe I think I might just like stick these in here for now. And we'll put this one over here. And we know that it's going to go on to that other side. So that's actually it for today. Like I said, we can um, do much longer videos, but um, I would have to get the consensus of like everybody. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the 20 minute videos and kind of bring you guys along for uh, part of the journey um, with making these journals. I don't think I'm going to do 17 videos of decorating this one journal, but I will try to bring you guys along for a little bit of the ride. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.